Do you think we should still go? Why not? You think? Nick? Yeah, mate. That's all the luggage from the Vic. What are we waiting for? Well, I guess there's no reason to hang about then. You could have got a more comfortable van, Ricky. Yeah, all right. We ain't got sleep in it, have we? I'll tell you what, you watch the uh, caravan. We've got our own, thanks. Three bedrooms, saloon, television. Where's Sam? Well, she's with Beppe. All right, well, she better get here soon. Fred! Come on! I'm not getting in that pile of junk. Well, then you're walking, aren't you? What kind of a ball are we going to, anyway? A Christmas ball. What do you think? It's a bit early for Christmas, isn't it? It's a bonfire night ball. All right, all right. Flyer said Halloween. Oh, that's what I meant. All right, mate. Yeah. yeah, come on. Anyone else you invited? Sam? I thought you wanted to stay with Beppe. Yeah, well, I did, but he's with his family, so the feeling obviously wasn't mutual. So you're coming then? Yeah. Good. You pulled out all the stops on this one, Ricky. Oh, stop complaining. <laughs> Are you all in? Yeah. Right, right, and here we come. Let's go! Yeah. You got to hand it to him. He was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Well, I don't know about that. Well, I didn't see you running in. It wasn't safe, was it? Well, it was an irresponsible thing to do, if you ask me. Stupid. All right, Fred, what do you say? Steve, hero or zero? Sorry, what? You've got to stop thinking about it. About what? The arches. Everyone's fine. Oh, yeah, right. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Easy for you to say. Right, anyone needs a toilet, go now, because I'm not stopping again. Might as well talk to myself. I told them to go to the garage. Yeah, we're only a few miles away from Brighton. They could have waited. Well, that's girls for you. Oi! I think the boys are a bit annoyed with us. It's tough. They'll get used to it. Yeah, nature calls and all that. Exactly. Yeah, gonna pick somewhere a bit less properly. Why do they always go in twos? So we can slag you lot off. more than eating CDs and I was hitching. <laughs> yeah, but you can relax now. It's party time. Yeah, right. Lovely evening, isn't it? Smells. <sighs> What's happening? Oh, there seems to be a problem. I'll sort it out. Let me take a look in the logs. Now then, all of today's bookings go down here. Here we go. Fonseca. Yeah, that's us. Right. Here's your key. It's that one over there. Oh, oh nice. nice. Tasty. As for butcher, like I said, no butcher. Well, it's got to be. I can't believe this. Can't see it. Let me double check. Well, I've definitely booked it. You better have. Oh, here it is. See? Butcher. Deluxe mobile home. Yeah, that's the one. November the 5th. You what? Ricky! I, I booked it for tonight. <sighs> no, bonfire night. That's what it says here. Well, why would I say bonfire night when I meant tonight? In no way. Looks like you're in the tent then. I can't believe this. Tease up. Stop moaning, will you? You ain't stopped. Don't overdo it, Patrick. Look, you concentrate on buying in the supplies, I'll concentrate on the garden. It's not a garden. There's a potted palm and a few shrubs. They're very beautiful, but they're not a garden. <laughs> I ain't sleeping in no poxy tent. Yeah, well, you better hope you don't pull the shortest twig then, eh? Oh. Oh, neighbours. Right, listen. Everyone take a twig. Longest one gets a double, yeah? Yeah, but do we get to say or we share with you? Oh, good idea. What'd you say, Mum? Yeah, great idea. Right, come on. Two shorts go in the tent, all right? Yeah, come on in. You ready? Let's go. On. go. Stuck in. Easy. Hey. Oh, no, Easy. No, 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 no. Right. Oh, typical. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Come on, Ricky. I've got the longest. And you get the double. Right, Sam, care to join me? I'd love to. Oh, I haven't slept in bunk beds since I was a kid. Well, Fred, looks like you've got a sofa bed and you two, you... Yeah, lovely. It should be you on your own. It was your mistake. Oh, shut up, Jim. Well, I don't see why I have to go in there. I didn't even want to come anyway. Yeah, but I don't want you to come here either. It's all right, Janine. You take my bed. 
I'll share with Ricky. Oh, wicked. <sighs> Thanks, Mark. Hey, you don't snore, do you, Mel? Well, Ian's never mentioned it. Which side of the bed do you want? Oh, either really, whichever's further from Janine. <laughs> what do you reckon on this top? Yeah, it suits you. Do you reckon? Positive. I haven't stayed in a caravan site like this for ages. I used to love them. Do you know, I've never even stayed in one. You're kidding. We used to go to Bournemouth every year, every summer, skinny dipping and collecting shells. It's mad. That's why Mum and Dad weren't shouting at each other. I went on holiday with my mates to Ibiza for once, clubbing. Stayed on the beach for most of it, if that counts. Yeah, I went there. Did you go to that club by the harbour? What's it called? Oh, Otto something. Yeah, Otto Zoo. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, me and you should go sometime. You must be joking. Why, you're still young and young? Yeah, I'm also engaged to Ian. He's not about to go to Ibiza unless it's to open a fish and chip shop. Yeah, well, at least Ian cares about you. Me and Beppe doesn't. Oh, I don't know. But sometimes I'm just not sure. Yeah, well, it's still early days, though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, at least Ian's keen. Yeah, but too keen sometimes, if you ask me. He can be a bit, you know. For what? Controlling, maybe. Right, that's it. Here you go. Turn it off. No more calls. Okay. Freedom. Not oh. exactly home sweet home, is it? What's it like inside? Well, it's not the TARDIS, I can tell you that much. And it doesn't help keep letting that go slack, Ricky. Let it go slack. Yeah, go on. You get a move on, will you? I want to get to town before everything shuts. I'm sorry to bother you, but um, you were wondering if you could turn the music down. Sure. Mark, what are you doing? Sorry, mate. Janine! Do you need a hand? Uh, I think we're in control. Sort of. <laughs> oh, mate. What? Can you turn your music down, please? What's the problem? I'm on holiday, aren't I? What's wrong with my music? It's, um, it's not our scene. Well, that's your problem then, isn't it? Sorry about that. Oh, I like your garden. <laughs> you see? Garden, eh? Huh? Just made his day. <laughs> I don't let him call it a garden. Well, it's not the land that matters. It's the care that you put into it. That's what my dad used to say. And your dad a gardener? Yeah, he had an allotment. Oh, nice. So, um, are there any do's or don'ts we should know about while we're staying here? Janine! Hey, turn it down! You should run along. Can you stop? You can probably hear it in Wolford. Okay, Brighton. Here we come. Yeah! Well, let's go and get some drinks, shall we? At last. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're going. You coming? Well, the tent's ready, but we're not. Well, we can go on ahead. We need two cabs anyway. Well, I'm ready since I can't play my music. Yeah, we all have to follow on with Ricky and Mark, seeing as our cabs are ready full. <sighs> Stuff you lot. I got on my own. Janine! Don't worry, I'll go after her. We'll just have to meet you there, yeah? Well, yeah. The See bar's ya. called the Fountain. It's near the venue on Barson Street. You can't miss Quite it. Quite a nice one. See you there, guys. See, See ya. ya. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, then. We ready? Come on. Yeah. I thought you'd turn that off. Yeah, I did. Well, then you won't need it, will you? What about emergencies and mischiefs? What about your freedom? OK, OK. You win. You said to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> Is it me? Or are there more girls down here? It's you. Come on, let's go down the pier. There's a fun fair there and games. We ain't got time. We've got loads of time. We've got some drinking to catch up on and we're meant to meet the rest here. Sam, I couldn't borrow your phone for a minute, can I? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, no, you've only just got rid of yours. Now, I just suddenly thought I want to give Steve a quick call. Steve, what for? Just to check he's all right. Well, we know he's all right, mate. Sam, he saved Jenny and Jackie's lives. You know, I want to make sure he's OK. Check it's all calmed down. Out of politeness, really. Whatever. Hi, Steve. Um, I'm just phoning to see that you're all right, really. Um, well, we're all down here in Brighton, and... Anyway, it's Mel, by the way. Janine! Janine! Janine, is that you? It's only me. No luck. No. She'll turn up. She knows how to wind me up. I only wanted a quiet weekend away. All I want is a drink. Should we go and get one? Yeah. See, I didn't even want her to come here anyway. Charming. Where you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Get in a cab. Are you two coming or what? 
camera. I'll give you a hand. Oh, cheers. This is a great bar. How'd you find out about it? Well, I came last year. You know, it's handy for the ball. Who did you come with? Oh, no one special. Anyone special this year? Janine's got her eye on you. Oh, please, spare me. Well, you are single, though, aren't you? Well, don't you start. I'm not. Look, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. It's none of my business. It's just, you know, Brighton, the ball. You didn't know any of us were coming. Yes. Are you gay? Would it matter? Wouldn't to me, no. Well, yeah. Yeah, I am. Good. Well, that's it. No inquisition. Not from me. Well, I hope the rest of the square responds the same way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why do you hide it? Well, I don't really. I just don't go around Sorry. shouting about it, that's all. You never know how people will respond, especially being a doctor. Oh, yeah, I didn't think. Mark knows, but um, well, Mick doesn't. Really? Well, I haven't found the right moment. I was kind of hoping you'd do what you've just done, but uh, I suppose that's straight Ben for you, eh? Funny lot. That's not really the point. Oh no, no, of course not. What, 40 grand? What do you want to do when you grow up? Marry a doctor? Oh yeah. We say my job. If we ever go on a trip again, I'll do the invitations, all right? Yeah, yeah, but let's come back here. That lot say the regular clubs are brilliant. And I'll think I'm in with one of them, you know what I mean? Good for you. You should have told me this place was buzzing, Fred. I didn't know you were so well connected. It's a bit hot in here, don't you think? Yeah. I need some air. Anyone want to? A great idea. She's after me. I know she is. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Pleasure. I think we might set the rumour mill going. That's fine by me. Anything to get away. It must be hard, you know, people assuming you're what you're not. Well, as problems go, it's not so bad. Don't you talk to anyone about it? Not really. Mix the obvious candidate. Well, you should. Don't worry about him. He's one of the most easygoing blokes I know. He'll be fine about it. Well, I hope so. He wasn't so cool when he heard about Nina. You should tell him before he guesses. Like tonight? Yeah, I know. That was the plan. Well, hasn't you and him living together caused any problems? No. I haven't had much luck recently. <laughs> I envy you. It must feel great to have your freedom. I'd happily swap it for a bit of stability. Freedom's not all it's cracked up to be. No stability. But you could have fooled me. <laughs> Depends on who it's with, I guess. I thought this was about me. I didn't want you to feel isolated. Well, what do you want then? And what haven't you got? Something. I'm not sure. You can tell me. I am a doctor. <laughs> I don't know. Fun. Excitement. Danger. You know, someone impulsive. Someone passionate. Maybe I'm just being selfish. So? Be selfish. So, you thought you were coming with just me? Yeah, nor for me, yeah. And you've ended up with us lot, well how did that happen? Well, Mick saw the flyer, and talked himself into it, and I thought, well, why not? And where better place to tell him? Exactly. Tell who? What? Just that we better get a move on, because the ball will be starting any minute. Yeah. Yeah, well, come on then, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Excuse me. I can't believe you left me a punch and Judy. 
Okay, sorry. Don't go wandering off anywhere and don't talk to any strangers, all right? Why not? Because I'm telling you to. Janine! I can't believe these two. I'll catch you up. Fred's just told me. What did you say? I told him he should tell me before he guesses. Well, that's what I said. I'm not agreeing on something, are we? Can't be. Let's go. Janine, what is the matter with you? Nothing's wrong with me. You can't go treating people like they don't matter. What's it to you? Because I won't have it, all right? Look, come on, you two. Leave me alone, Ricky. Oi, listen up. Who are you to tell me anything? Look, because I've got to look after you, that's why. You? Looking after me? I don't think so. Not with your track record. Meaning? Well, look at you. Who are you to give advice to anyone about anything? You're not exactly Mr. Successful, are you? You want to watch yourself, I'm telling you. Bianca was a nightmare. She ruined your life and you let her. Well, that's up to you. But it doesn't give you the right to tell me what to do. She's 16, Ricky. You've just got to let her get on with it. Look, don't tell me what to do, all right? She's my responsibility. I'm only trying to give you a bit of advice. You want to calm yourself down a little bit? Calm down? Well, why should I? What's it to you anyway? I'm just trying to give you a bit of help. Yeah, well, you're not, all right? You know what your problem is, Ricky Butcher? You don't listen. You never have and you never will. Hey, Fred! You want to see what's in the limo? <laughs> all right? She is slamming! Really? Yeah! Mick, um, I think you should know something. What's going on up here? Well, look, there's something I want to tell you. About what? Well, it's about kind of us living together. Oh, come on, Fred, not now. I know I owe you rent, No, but... no, it, it's not about that. It's more to do with me. It's, well, I'm It's kind... cancelled. What? What is it? What's going on? Janine says it's cancelled. Well, why? I don't know. Some problem with the sound system, apparently. Steve. What's he doing here, Never mind him. What about us? Thanks for the idea. I'm glad I came down. So you pleased to see me? Breakfast, people. You are joking. Well, I brought this stuff down. There's no point wasting it. Anyway, it's the best thing for a hangover. Go. Oh. How many did we have last night? <laughs> Too many. The cutlery's on the table if you're hungry. It's one sausage each. Oh, cheers. That is if Steve ain't joining us for breakfast. Steve will eat at his hotel. Mm. But you will keep inviting him places. I didn't invite him. I just mentioned that we were down here. Oh, well, that's different, is it? I'm sorry. I just thought after, you know, what he went through yesterday, I didn't actually expect him to come. It doesn't matter. As far as I'm concerned, the whole trip's been a waste of time anyway. Yeah, I mean, we never even got to a Halloween ball. Maybe next year, eh? Hmm. I mean, all this time we've been living together and you never told me. <laughs> told, told you what? That you're such a good cook, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's going to be a few changes on that kitchen rotor when we get back to Wolford. <laughs> Ricky, hang on a minute. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. I wasn't having a go at you. No? It's not what it felt like. I'm just trying to get you to snap out of this mood you're in. It came out a bit wrong. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. No, no one ever does. It's funny though, isn't it? It still keeps happening. Morning, all. Morning. So what's happening? We're going home or what? But why don't we stay for the rest of the day? Drive back tonight. You know, now we come all this way. Yeah, why not? The weather's not bad. We should make the most of it. Yeah. Well, we could take a walk down the pier, taking the sights and that. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyone say where Janine went? We heard the door go early this morning. She's just probably gone for a walk. We can't go without her. Yeah, well, I, I don't want to be hanging around here all day, waiting for some child to show up. I'll have to wait here for her tomorrow. Yep. Call us on my mobile. We promise not to have any fun until you get there. All right. See you later, mate. See you, Rick. See you later. Oh. Later. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> See you later. Oh, back up, mate. No! One player short, one of them stupid acts. 
time's a great healer, mate. I'm sure you'll get over it. No good. I am fixed. <laughs> You're using the wrong foot, mate. This is wicked, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love the smell of the sea. Here, do you fancy going down the aquarium? I hear I've got some great sharks there. Great idea. I'm up for that. Right. I had my full of sharks last night, thank you. I'm going to go shopping, though. You up for it? Yeah, why not? Well, why don't we meet you look back at the site? What, about five o'clock? Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Well, don't spend all your money, eh? See you later on, yeah? See ya. See ya. See ya. It's probably Ricky. Hello? Oh, hi, Steve. Yeah, we're still here. Well, me and Sam are going to go shopping. Yeah, sure. All right, then. I'll see you then. Bye. Don't tell me he's coming with us. He asked if he could tag along. What can I say? Well, you could say no. Well, I hope you like jewellery and underwear, because that's where we're going. Listen, guys, uh, I want to see the really big stuff, so I'll catch you up, all right? Yes, yeah, see you in a while. Hey, Fred, look at that. Yeah, she's beautiful. It's called a blue damsel. The size of those Ian Bill would certainly save on batter. And that one, it's an angelfish. Wicked shape, isn't it? How come you know so much about them? My dad used to keep tropical fish when I was a child. I used to sit watching them for hours. Very relaxing. I had you down as a dog owner. You know, something a bit more macho. Mm -mm, this is more my style. Look at the cucurras. It's a lazy kind of fish, don't do nothing. <laughs> it's funny what you find out about people, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, you know, um, sharing a flat. I think you know everything about someone, and there's probably loads of things that you don't. Like what? Well, there's probably a lot of things that you don't know about me. Yeah? Like my childhood. Things I did before I came to live in Walford. And, well, you, you know, I mean, it's... Look well, at that! Yeah. It's like being underwater. It's, it's fantastic! You know what I want to get back into? Scuba diving. I used to love that as a teenager. And I want to do the Great Barrier Reef and see it all for real. Sorry. Sorry, mate. You were going to say something. Doesn't matter. Let's go and find Mark, eh? Penny for the guy, mister. Your name? Come here. What do you think you're doing? I'm just talking. What's the problem? You smell the booze, you do. I'm not doing any harm. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Right, that's it. Come on, we're going back to the caravan. I'm staying here. Listen, I've wasted a whole day looking for you. Now I'm not in the mood, all right? Now come on. I'm not coming. Get in, will Get you? off me, will you? You know what your trouble is, don't you, Ricky? Janine, I'm warning you. Don't you dare. Janine, I mean it. You need to be cooling down. Janine, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little greyhound, Sam. Oh, that's funny. The oh, I like those earrings there in the middle. Yeah, they'd really suit you, Bill. A bit expensive. Let me get them for you, mate. Uh, I wasn't hinting. Yeah, I know, I know. I'd like to. Yeah, I ain't got no one else to spend my money on, have I? Okay. Thanks. I just feel sorry for him. Well, Beppe works for him and he reckons he's trouble. Sam, it's just a pair of earrings, that's all. Cool, oh, sure. I'm sure Ina see it the same way. Get off me! I mean it, Ricky, let go! I'm sick of it! Well, I've told you, we were just talking. Yeah, and drinking. Hanging about on street corners with a bunch of blokes you don't even know. I mean, how do you think Dad's going to feel about that when we get he home? Wouldn't. No? Well, it's up to you, innit? On how you decide to behave from now on. Oh, I see. Blackmail, well, that's nice. So I have to do whatever you say, otherwise you go back and tell Dad a pack of lies. I know what I saw, Janine. You got another beer there? No. You haven't, you? Give me it. I want a drink. I swear, you drink that and you're in trouble. Oh, yeah, and what are you going to do about Stop it? Stop mucking me around, will ya? All right. I won't drink it. What you do? What's the matter with you? I didn't drink it, did I? Stupid! Come here! Delayed, open this door! Delayed! Delayed! It's 
Excuse me. Are you all right? Yeah, just a bit wet. Well, do you want to come in for a minute? You'll catch your death. Thanks. Perry, could you uh, put the kettle on for this young man? He seems to have had a bit of a mishap. Oh, let me guess. Something to do with the ghetto blaster queen. <laughs> My sister here. It's like a mission in life to wind me up. Oh, I don't think it's just you. Ah, it's only attention seeking. Here, use this. Cheers. I've got a little sister myself, so I know what it's like. Particularly when you're expected to look after them. Yeah, look, I don't mean to be a killjoy or nothing, but it's, well, it's got my own problems, you know what I mean? I could do without it. Ah. The name's Patrick, by the way. Perry. Ricky. So, Ricky, would you like to uh, rinse yourself off? I mean, I know beer's good for the hair, but it doesn't smell too good. Well, go on. We don't bite. Oh, thanks. Right here, yeah? <laughs> fun, 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 fun. <laughs> All right. Hey, do you not want to get things packed up? I just want to smooth things over the neighbours before yeah, we go. Right. Yeah, yeah. See you later. See you in a bit. Come back. Hello. Oh, hi. You all right? Yeah. Listen, I just want to apologise for yesterday. Young Janine? Ah, oh, don't worry. I can see she's a handful. She's found out a new trick today. Your friend Ricky's sitting in our place washing beer out of his hair. Oh, dear. I reckon I'll be glad to get home. Well, you do know the Halloween ball's going ahead tonight. You're joking? Oh, yeah. I was speaking to one of the organisers earlier on local radio. Apparently they've sorted out whatever problems they had and... I'm sorry, I've got to go. See you later. Yeah. Hey. All right, Mark? Yeah, you're right there. Eh? Yeah. Oh, the ball's back on. You're joking. That bloke Perry heard it on the radio. Right, do you want to go? Well, it seems daft not to. I'm sure the others will be up for it. Great, look, uh, I'm going to go back to the hotel and get changed, and I'll see you guys there about 8 o'clock. If that's all right with you. Yeah, sure. Great. Now we're stuck with him for another night. Well, it was you who mentioned the ball. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be here at all, would he? You're playing with fire, Mel. Do you know that? Well, so she used to get up to the same sort of stuff? Oh, far worse. Emma set fire to my bed once whilst I was still in it. My father still managed to blame me. He said I shouldn't have left the matches lying around. Hmm. It's so unfair, isn't it? I mean, it's only because we're blokes. If our sisters were the eldest, they wouldn't expect something to look after us, would they? Huh? Parents always worry more about girls. It's only natural, I suppose. You say she's 16. I mean, another couple of years and she'll be out of your hair. <laughs> another couple of years, I don't think I'll have any hair left. <laughs> Hello there. I believe you've got one of our party in here. Yeah, I think you can have him back for a small fee. Hello, mate. You ready, Ricky? No, I'm not. I ain't got no clothes, have I? Janine soaks all my gear. Oh, don't worry, Cinders. You will go to the ball. Here. A birthday present. But I don't suppose I'll ever wear it. <laughs> no, I, I, I couldn't. Well, don't you need it? No, it's not that dressy where we're going. Oh, you're not coming to the party, then? No, it's not really our scene. We're going to the Wagner evening at the Brighton Centre. Oh, well, if, if you're sure. Yes, of course. Go on, try it. <laughs> well, what do you think? Gorgeous. Oh, you'll be fighting them off in that, Bob. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Nearly ready. Just give me five minutes. Is everyone coming tonight? As far as I know. What about that Steve bloke? Yeah, he's coming. I thought it was brilliant what he did at the Archers yesterday. I don't reckon anyone like that could murder someone. Five minutes, all right. In, won't they? Will you tell them I'm 18? Why should I do you any favour? Well, I won't get in if you don't. Will you tell them I'm 18? Are you going to act like it? Oh, don't start. Now, don't you start, Janine. We're responsible for you tonight. If you start misbehaving, you're going straight back to that caravan. Yeah, yeah. I mean it. Okay, okay. I can't go in there wearing this. I look camping in the row of tents. Mm. I'm not being funny, Ricky, but do you really think anyone's going to be looking at you? <laughs> yeah, well, I hope not. So all I want tonight is a nice chilled out evening. Thank you. 
makes E20 look tame, doesn't it? Sorry. Sorry, love. See, I knew this would happen. Ricky, take it as a compliment. Well, it's easy for you to say, isn't it? I think you're in there, mate. And <laughs> hey, that boy's gonna have to be careful tonight. I'll go and get the drinks then, yeah? Yeah. This is brilliant! Is that a girl or a bloke? A bloke, I think. He looks wicked! I've never seen anything like this at home. Oh. So gays are alright as long as they're wearing sequins, is that it? What do you mean? Well, Perry and Patrick, the guys in the caravan. You gave them a right mouthful yesterday. Well, that's different. They had rubbish tasting music. Look, your brother's at the bar over there. Why don't you go and chat him for a bottle of pop, eh? Hiya. You having a good time? Yeah, I am now. Want something? Um. Oh, yeah, I'll just have a beer, please. You want a drink? No, it's right, Ricky's getting in. I'll get it. <laughs> no, I said we're all right, thanks. Maybe this one is such a good idea, no, eh? Take no notice. Oh, come on, Mel, you can see what it's like. None of this lot want me here. I'm sorry, I just thought after what happened yesterday, you know, they'd be cool about it. Yeah, well, it looks like you thought wrong, eh? You get me one? Yeah, what do you want? A uh, large vodka and orange juice, please. Yeah, all right, in your dreams. Oh, come on, it's a party. Yeah, you see that sign? If I buy you alcohol, I'll get nicked. You're so wet, do you know that? Yeah, and you've promised to behave yourself. Excuse me, mate, uh, orange juice, please. What do you want? How's it going? You mean Mick? I haven't told him yet. I didn't think you had. You're leaving a bit late, ain't you? Yeah, Melanie said the same thing. And I was hoping he'd take the hint. I mean, this place. I think it's going to take a bit more than a hint, mate. And if I was you, I'd do it sooner rather than later. I'm all right, thanks. How are you? You want to dance? No, not right now. What you did at the Arches yesterday, I thought you was really brave. But I just did what anyone else would have done. Was it being in prison that made you like that? I mean, like, did it make you hard? I mean, I'm only asking. Well, it depends what you were like before, you know what I mean? Anyway, I wouldn't recommend it. Did you get beaten up? I mean, I heard that the guards beat you up and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, well, you hear a lot of stories. Now, if you don't mind, Yeah, just not in a very party mood. Why, well, what's wrong? Come on, you can tell your auntie Melanie. Is it Janine? Yeah, partly. A stupid shirt, have a look. No, it's not just that. I've, I've been thinking about Bianca as well. Yeah, were well, you bound to? Yeah, I've been looking out there and looking at all those single people out on the pool having a laugh. And, and I thought, I don't want to go back to that. I thought we are chatting anyone up front as well. Yeah, look, things take time. It'll be better in a few weeks or a few months. No, I don't know. I've managed to screw my whole life up so far. No, that isn't true. Well, it is, isn't it? Well, look at me. Look, I'm 26 years old. What have I got? got no money, two failed marriages, a kid I don't even see. Sometimes I wonder what the point is. DJ's impressive. I haven't seen her before. Listen, Mick, um, you know what we were saying this afternoon about um, not knowing everything about each other? Yeah, what about it? Well, I've been thinking, and um, there's something... Well, there's something I Fred think... Fred Fonseca, as I live and breathe. Le Leslie, how are you? Yeah, I can't believe it. it must be, what, two years? Yeah. Leslie, um, this, is, this is my friend Mick. Oh, pleased to meet you. Uh, can I get you a drink? Mm, I like him. Have a G&T, please. Slim line if they've got it. 
Same again? Yeah, yeah. Same. So, tell me everything. I want to know all your news. What happened to the lovely John you were going out with? Listen, Mel, I think I'm going to go. What now? It's only just 1.11. Yeah, I know, but... Well, this ain't really my scene, and my company's not exactly in demand, is it? Well, I'm very happy that you're here. <laughs> Thanks. But, no, I'm gonna take a walk, clear my head. Can I come with you? What, don't you want to stay? Well, it's a bit hot and smoky for me. It's not really my scene either. Not tonight, anyway. All right, um, look, you go and get your coat, and I'll meet you by the entrance. All right. I don't know what to do, but then that's something new. Stuck between hell and hot water, I need a kill to make it through. Hey! Janine? I've just seen Janine heading towards the door. Do you think she's all right? Well, she certainly had a few inches. Well, maybe we should try and find Ricky, yeah? So he went back to the States. Oh, I'm sorry. He was so gorgeous, too. Yeah, he was. Listen, Leslie, I'd love to talk. Uh, you don't have to explain anything. I can see you've got far more important things to attend to. Oh, oh no, it's, it's not. Well, Nick isn't, you know. Isn't what? Nothing. He was just telling me you're not his boyfriend. Well, all I can say, Fonseca, is you're losing your touch. If you don't want him, send him over to me later. See you soon. Thanks for the drink. I was going to tell you. Mick, wait. How long since she come out? About 15 minutes ago. Sorry, mate, I couldn't find you. What, you reckon she looked drunk? Well, she looked unsteady on her feet. Yeah, well, maybe she just went to get a bit of fresh air. Well, she'll be here then, won't she? I can't believe that that's all I've done today is just chase after her. Look, we'll cover more ground if we split up. But I'll go up the pier, you two check the sea fun. She can't have gone far. All right, you come with me, come on. So come on in, out with it. Out with what? Something's bothering you, I can tell. All right. You're wishing you hadn't asked me down here, aren't you? <laughs> no, not at all. So what is it then, eh? Well, you're supposed to be getting married in a few weeks' time, you know? You're meant to be on top of the world. Or is that a problem? Of course not. I'm really looking forward to it. So how come it's me and you walking on this pier and not you and Ian? You know what Ian's like. He'll never take a break. You know, he thinks the whole business will fall apart if he's not there. And that's the only reason, is it? Listen, Mel, you tell me if I'm speaking out of turn here and I will mind my own business. But from where I'm standing, you don't look too sure about this wedding. What makes you say that? You know, I know we weren't together long, but I feel like I know you really well. Mm. In the last few days, you've been like... like I don't know. As if you're trying too hard. <laughs> it's just pre-wedding jitters. I mean, why does everyone always think they know what's best for me? Maybe because they care about you. If you can look me in the eye and you tell me that you're really happy about this marriage, I will shut up. Well? Are you? I don't know. Oh, this is ridiculous. She's got to be out here somewhere. You know, it's getting cold out here now. Well, maybe she's gone back to the caravan. Yeah, well, Mark could check there, wouldn't he? But do you really think Janine's going to go out bed while this party's still going on? If perhaps she wanted to stretch her legs, maybe she's gone to the beach. Yeah, I'll stretch her neck if I get hold of her. Look, I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was for you to find out like that. So what was he going to do? Leave me a note by the bread bit? I've been trying to tell you. That's why I wanted us to come down here. You know, have a bit of time? I didn't know half a wolf if we were going to tag along. I can't believe it! I mean, I just can't take it in! Or does it change things for you? I mean, us being friends? Yeah! Yeah! It changes things, Fred! It changes everything! Well, that's a shame. I had you down as a, a live and let live kind of guy. I thought, well, I hoped you'd be okay with this. You just don't get it, do you? Get what? Your personal life is your own business, Fred! What matters is you lied to me! I didn't lie. I just, just what? Forgot to tell me in the last six months. You've been taking me for a fool, Fred. I thought we were friends.
Excuse me, I'm looking for young girl 16, guys. She's dark hair. She's so nice. So come on in and tell me. Never had much luck with relationships. Every bloke I fell for turned out to be a... I don't know. Like me? Well, yeah, sort of. You know, the wild ones. The type that are great for excitement and having a laugh, but you know they're never going to want to settle down. And Ian was different? Yeah. He was normal. You know, he wanted the same things as me. And he was solid. And I thought, well, this is what I need. You know, this is the type of bloke I could spend the rest of my life with. And now? I always thought that I'd end up marrying someone I was crazy about, you know? Someone that I felt I couldn't live without. These last few weeks, this whole wedding just feels like... like I'm signing an insurance policy. And you want more than that, don't you? Yeah. I feel such a bitch, you know. He's been so good to me and I do care about him. I really do. Right. Well. Steve, what am I going to do? <laughs> Ricky, she's been drinking all night. You don't think she's done something stupid, do you? I don't say that. Like what? Well, I don't know. Like stepped out in front of a car or something. Well, thanks. That's all I need, isn't it? Look, if we can't keep wandering around in circles, if this goes on much longer, we better ring the police. The police? Have you any idea the trouble I've been with my dad if he finds we've got the police at? Let's just carry on looking for a bit longer, yeah? Right. Janine! Oi! Down here, mate! Janine! Shh. Come on, you're going to feel better when you've let it all out. Uh, it's funny, really. You're the last person I expected to be saying all this to. You know, there was a time when you used to tell me everything. Now, I can't tell you what to do. I do know that you're a fantastic person. You deserve more than settling for second best. What do you think? You know, I remember what it was like when we were together. What it was like to hold you. How beautiful you always looked. That's <sighs> what you felt. You're just being nice. No, you are so special. You're bright, gorgeous. Does Ian tell you that? Ian thinks I'm a great business manager. And then he must be blind. Because I've always wanted you. I've wanted you since the first moment I saw you. And I still do. Not true. Yes, it is, and you know it is. Now, you need more than someone like Ian can give you. You need someone who's going to treat you like a woman. Who knows how to hold you. Who knows how to touch you. Tell me that's what you want, Mel. Tell me. Janine! Mark, over here, quick! Janine, come and talk to me, please. Janine! Give her a shake! Well, what if she's out of red or something? What are we going to do? What's happened? I don't know, she's freezing cold. She won't wake up. Well, this might have something to do with it. Look, don't panic. Keep her comfortable. I'll go back to the club and I'll get Fred. Right. I'll be as quick as I can! Right. Janine, please! Wake up, please! Janine! Janine! Yeah. 
just need to get inside. Can we go back to the club? No, anywhere but there. Look, I think there's an all-night cafe around the corner from my hotel. Do you want a coffee? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Just walk away. We need to sort things out. There is nothing to sort out. Don't be stupid. I can see how angry you are. No, I don't think you can. How long have you known you were gay? Well, I don't know. All my life, I guess. I came out when I was 17. And how long we've been friends? Quite a while, I know. And in all that time, you deliberately let me think you were straight. I am sorry. I had to know I could trust you before I confided in you. Oh, you got me down as some kind of gay bashing. No, I had you down as a nice guy. It'd be cool about it. I had to be sure. Look, you'd be surprised me how many people have a problem with it. People you think you're close to. And once you said something like that, well, you can't take it back. No, I still think you should have told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Mark said the same thing. Mark knows? Yeah. Yeah, he's known for a while. Anyone else? Melanie. Mark and Melanie. Yeah, well, Melanie guess really. She's not stupid. I'm not, I'm not saying you're stupid, Mick. I'm just saying... Oh, I know what you're saying, Fred. I got the message, loud and clear. Ricky, you've got to do something. Well, I what? What can I do? Well, where's Fred? I don't know. Janine, come on, please. Just open your eyes, Janine. Janine, please. Thanks. I'm sorry. You are a close friend, and I should have told you. The longer you leave something like that, well, the more difficult it gets. Should have known you could trust me. Maybe. I had a really good friend at medical school who dumped me when I told him. And stuff like that, well, it did make you a bit paranoid. In my experience, well, some black guys do have a problem with gaming. Oh, this just gets better and better. So I'm homophobic now because I'm a colour. I didn't say all black guys. But you still told your white friends before you told me. And you worried about me being prejudiced. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Look, this ain't about colour, sexuality or anything else. It's about us. I know. And I'm thinking about all those conversations we've had in the last six months. Stuff I've told you about girlfriends. Things you've said to me. I am still the same person, Mick. What difference does it make? Flesh, quick, we need you. Do I have any medical help here? I don't know what to do. I feel so useless. I know, me too. Yeah, that can't be much longer. It'll be all right, Ricky. Good I have Fred, over here! Right, what's her name? Janine. This is Rob, the club's duty paramedic. We're glad to see you. How long's she been here? Oh, we saw her leave the club about an hour ago. This is where we found her. Give us that bottle, Mick. And this. Do you know if she's taking anything else? Drugs? No, she never has before. Has she been sick? I don't think so, no. Her pulse is pretty slow. She might be hypothermic. OK, we need to try and wake her up. Janine, Janine, can you hear me? Talk to me, Janine. There you go. Not great, but at least it's warm. Thanks. I know you haven't said a word since we came back from the pier. Look, if you're worried about. I was very careful. Oh, I know. Very well prepared. Well, if you think this was a mistake, then just say so. Okay, eh? yes, it was a mistake. Why are you feeling guilty about Ian? Of course I'm feeling guilty. I'm getting married in seven weeks. Look at me. I'm rolling around on Brighton Pier with a... Well, go on and say it. Was a scumball like me? No, right? I wasn't going to say that. No, but that's what you were thinking, isn't it? Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. But that weren't just one-way traffic down there, you know. You wanted it as much as me. And if you can't handle that fact, then tough. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Mm. All right. It's true. Listen, you know, maybe tonight was meant to happen. Show you that Ian's not the one for you. Don't say that. Why not? You said it yourself. You knew enough. I've told you I don't know what I want. Yeah, well, that's what me and you are different, isn't it? Because I do. I want you. Come on, sweetheart, open your eyes for me. Pain stimulus? Yep. Got that. Mind your softener. Oh. Come on. 
It's still, are you all right enough? That's the idea, it's called pain response. Oh. Janine, wake up. Wake up, Janine. Oh, oh. We're trying to. That's it. Come on, get it all out. Oh, I can't believe this. It'd be one thing after the other, man. This is all my fault, isn't it? Don't be stupid, Ricky. You didn't know she had vodka. Yeah, like, but I should have kept an eye on her, shouldn't I? Instead of moping around feeling sorry for myself. No one's blaming you, Ricky. <laughs> That's it, you don't want where am I? What are you doing? Is she on? <laughs> yeah, she's talking. That's a good sign. 34.6. What, is that bad? Well, if it was under 34, we'd definitely have to take it to the A&E. What do you think, Rob? Uh, she's pretty conscious now. You're qualified. If you can get somewhere warm quickly, I'll probably see how she goes over the next couple of hours. Yeah, I agree. Look, thanks for your help, mate. Yeah. Eh? Look, let's get back to the caravan. Can someone uh, help me lift her, please? <laughs> You ready, guys? One, yeah. two, three, come on! Oh. Oh. Come on, guys, steady. Fourth one of the night. They never learn, do they? Steve, this is stupid. Why? It's how I feel. You don't want me. You just want to score points over Ian. No, I meant what I said before. Oh, come on, Mel. I've always said a thing about you. You know that. Those few weeks we had at the beginning of the year were fantastic. If it wasn't for... Saskia? Yeah. Well, who knows? It might have been us planning the wedding next month. You are so full of it! You don't want a relationship, you want a conquest. A little notch on your bedpost to prove you still got it and then on to the next one. It's not true. I've been out with blokes like you before. They promise you the moon and then they get you where they want and lose interest. It's not love, Steve. It's ego boosting. All right, I'll prove it to you. How about me and you, we get on a train tomorrow, start afresh somewhere new, wherever you want to go. What? Huh? Walford is not the centre of the universe. You know, we could just draw a line under everything and start again. What? Well, what about Ian? Dear Ian, I'm very sorry, but people do it every day. You really mean this, don't you? Janine, how do you feel now? Not very well. Well, her temperature's near normal now. She's more conscious than she was. I think she'll be fine. Although I wouldn't like to be here in the morning. Listen, Fred, look, I don't know how to thank you. Well, I reckon you're the one to thank, Ricky. If you hadn't found her, well, you're saying what I think you are. Well, if the cold hadn't got to her, she would have probably choked on her own vomit. It's quite possible you saved her life. I'm never going to drink again. <sighs> That's your thing, doesn't it, eh? One night of madness and you lose everything. Yeah, you're right. Well, if no one else needs me, I think I'm going to call it a night. Oh, listen, Mark, thanks a lot, yeah? Night, all. Night. Night, night. night. Well, I'll put her in the double room. I'll stay with her for a bit, make sure she's OK. Fred. You need a hand? Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Hey, hang on, has anyone seen Mel? I ain't seen her for a while. Or Steve. Maybe they went to some other club. Yeah, maybe. It's always locked every time. No, it is. You're right there. How was your evening? Fantastic. But uh, you're back early. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but are you all right? You don't look it. Yeah, it's been quite a night. We're just going to put the kettle on for a cuppa. Do you fancy one? You know, that was the best offer I've had all day. Well, come on. I know you still haven't answered my question. There's nothing to say. I'm not going to run off with you. It's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Why? Because you can't just run away from responsibilities, Steve. So what are you going to do, eh? Go back to here and pick up where you left off? I just know this isn't the answer. Look, Mel, go back tonight and sleep on it, eh? Just give it some thought. There's no point. Just think about it. Look at me. I'm going to be at the station entrance tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. I'll wait there for 15 minutes. If you turn up... And great. If you don't, I'll take that as a no. And then what? Then we play it your way. Pretend that tonight never happened. You don't give up, do you? Look, look, sometimes in life you have to take a few chances. Anyone finds out about this? I won't tell a soul. Cross my heart. And if you decide you're not interested, then we're never going to mention tonight again. But I tell you, I'm going to be at the station tomorrow morning. That's a promise. Gotta go. Home. 
Are you okay? Yeah. And what about you? Oh, I feel like I've run six marathons one after the other. You was a real star tonight. Well, I'd, I don't think I'd have coped if you hadn't have been there. You're so silly. It was you that found her. In fact, I'm quite proud of you. It's a long time since I've heard anyone say that. What was we saying earlier about you feeling sorry for yourself? Kiss hand. I know, I was just in a funny mood, that's all. I was just thinking about Bianca and you know, what you said last night. Oh, Ricky, I didn't mean it. I know, but it just sticks in your head, doesn't it? I mean, all day I was thinking, now look at my life. Am I a loser? And now? Well, something like this happens, it puts stuff into perspective, doesn't it? Like, if we hadn't seen her, if we'd have got there too late, I might have lost my sister tonight. Yeah, I know. You know and then you realise that you just got to appreciate what you got. As long as you've got people who care about you, you're still one of the lucky ones. I'm sorry, I'm talking rubbish, am I? No, you're right. I mean, we all worry about what we ain't got and what we really need right under our noses. It's a bit like me and you, really, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, if we hadn't been so young, we might have realised what we had. We could have still been together and been really happy. <sighs> no, I don't think so. No, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> of the M23 Essential Road Works in the Haywards Heath area. It started with a kiss and broke the Sounds like you had quite an evening. I'll be happy to get back to work. I can't take the pace. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think it's my bedtime. Are you staying up, Perry? Yeah, for a short while. OK, well, I'll see you in the morning. Nice meeting you, Mark. Yeah. Here you are. Chamomile. You'll sleep like a baby. Ah, uh, excuse me a moment. I just need to use the bathroom. Yeah, sure. But if you want to take your pills in here, that's OK with me. How did you know? How do you think? You're positive. But you're straight. There's a few of us about. How long have you known? Over ten years now. You? I was diagnosed in 88. Of course, in those days, HIV seemed like the end of the world. I thought I'd be dead within a year. But this combination I'm on at the moment seems to be doing the trick. Well, I flushed my last lot down the toilet. You're kidding. You're not taking anything. I was on this new triple combination. PIs and NRTIs. Let's just say they didn't agree with me. Yeah, I've had some pretty bad side effects, too. I've never felt so well. Nausea, cramps. My hands felt so numb I couldn't even pick up a cup. You're taking a chance, you know. What were your last results like? Viral load was up a bit. Maybe you should go back and see a doctor and try a different combination. You don't want one little battle to end the war, do you? Yeah. Maybe you're right. Listen, I think I owe you an apology. No. No, you don't. Let me finish. Finding out like that was a shock. But just watching you look after Janine back there made me realise, I suppose, that nothing's really changed. Like I said, I'm still me. I just wished you'd said something earlier. Look, I honestly intended to tell you ages ago, Mick. But it's not the kind of thing you can casually drop into conversation, is it? Or oh, can you get us a pint of milk, mate? And, uh, by the way, I'm a homosexual. I guess not. It just never occurred to me that a guy like you would be. Would be what? I thought I could always tell. Oh, you mean I don't play Judy Garland records and uh, scatter rose petals around the bathroom? Something like that. But you're happy for the two of us to go on sharing the flat? Yeah, if you're all right with it. Well, of course. Why shouldn't I be? Well, you do realise... I ain't going to be interested in you in that way. Of course. I'm not interested in you either. <laughs> oh, come on, Fred. I think it's time we lay all our cards on the table, don't you? Absolutely. I've never fancied you. Then why was you so keen for me to move in? Actually, if you remember, it was you who wanted to move in with me. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, yes, it was. When I was really against the idea for exactly this reason. I mean, sharing with someone who doesn't know could have caused all kinds of problems. So you're saying you never fancied me at all? Nope. Not even a little bit? Sorry. And why not? 
we get on well and I'm around every day. And every gay bloke wants to jump on every bloke they see. I ain't saying that. You're just not my type. Fair enough. But Fred, I am all right though, ain't I? I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. You look great. Good. Night then. Night. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that row we had in the Vic? When you chucked the old pint of lager over me? <laughs> what about when I forgot our anniversary? Because I spent all day at some stupid photo shoot. I know. No. I went for all that trouble, I know. <laughs> you still got that locket? No, oh, do you know I had to chuck it away? It put me out in a rash. <laughs> 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 well, this is a bit like the old days, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just laying here having a laugh. Mm. And not having sex. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, it's nice. Do you know what? A lot has gone on the last couple of years. It still feels like yesterday. Mm. You're right, though. It probably wouldn't have worked out. <laughs> but I'm still really glad I married you. You're a great bloke, you know, Ricky. One day you'll find someone that'll make you really happy. I might tell him. about Brighton's number one station and your I presume Patrick knows oh yeah we've been together over 15 years now only we used to have this arrangement as long as we put each other first neither of us expected monogamy I see well actually it's not really true Patrick would have liked a monogamous relationship but I was young and stupid you know still felt I had something to prove I went to a party one night, got off my face, and didn't take precautions. And that was it? Mm. Yeah. It's funny, because when the results came back from the clinic, almost my first fear, <laughs> apart from the fact that I was going to die, was that I might lose Patrick. It's like, um, it's like I had to risk everything to find out how much he really meant to me. But you didn't lose him? No, he was, he was fantastic. He wasn't even angry, or if he was, he didn't let on. First, we had to check that he was clear, which he was. Then he helped me tell my family. Made appointments at the clinic. Now I couldn't have got through it without him. Do you have someone to talk to? There's me, Mum. One or two mates, but... I don't like to worry him, you know. I used to have my wife, Ruth. But we split up. Well, because of this? Partly. She decided she wanted kids. Well, we both did. You must miss her. Ruth was the only person who really understood. You know, just the day-to-day -day stuff. Arranging all your drugs around your meals. Planning holidays around checkups, That sort of thing. But it was really great having someone you didn't have to explain stuff to all the time. People don't know. Why should they? Actually, it's nice to talk to someone who knows what I'm going on about. Hey, look. This is our number back in London. Should you ever need a chat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just might do that. doing here? Well, I thought I'd come and surprise Sam. Well, we've had plenty of those tonight, I can tell you. Yeah? What do you mean by that? She'll tell you all about it. It's that one there. Cheers, mate. Please 
this way. It ain't what you think. How are you feeling? Oh. Serves so you right. I only had a few drinks, Ricky. I just wanted to have a good time. It was more than a few. You could have died down there. Yeah, how do you think I'd have felt then? And what about Dad? I'm sorry. All right, well, it's done now, isn't it? I'll tell you though, you carry on like this, and next time you might not be so lucky. Yeah. No, you've got to start acting like an adult, show a bit more responsibility. Well, it'll be better now back in Walford. I hated it in Manchester, Ricky. Well, I love you and Dad around now. Yeah, well, me and Dad ain't got a magic wand. No, it's still down to you, isn't it? Are you gonna tell him about this? I ain't decided yet. Oh, please, Ricky, it'll kill me. Yeah, well, you've got to start behaving yourself then, haven't you? You know, show people a bit more respect. I promise. Oh, I feel really sick. Are you gonna be all right going back in the van? I don't know. Why don't you try and get yourself dressed, eh? Ricky. Thanks. I don't know what I'd do without you sometimes. Neither do I. So what type of men do you go for? I don't have any particular type. Just down to chemistry, really. Oh, yeah. Well, that's important, isn't it? Oh, and, um... You know, a nice, fit body. <clears throat> what are you saying? I ain't got a nice, fit body. The important thing is that you're happy with the way it is. Well, I was until now. It's fine. Come on, Fred. Is there something wrong with my body? Look, if you're going to hang around with boys like me, then you're going to have to stop taking yourself quite so seriously. <laughs> it's like a weight's been lifted. You know, after that chat we had last night, it's really made me look at things differently. Yeah, right. I think it's taught Janine a lesson as well. I reckon she'll be a lot easier to handle from now on. Oh, yeah? That's funny, isn't it? I mean, yesterday I was dreading going back to London. Now I can't wait. Well, I'm glad someone feels that way. Well, what do you mean? Right. You ready to go? Yeah, nearly. So where's Beppe? Beppe? He's already gone back. Oh, uh, well, listen, I'm, I'm going to go and say my goodbyes. I'll see you in a minute, yeah? What, Beppe was here last night? Yeah, he turned up when we was asleep. What, do you mean he's, he's all... Oh, no. Still looking forward to going back, are we? Now, have a good trip back and tell Ricky to keep the shirt. It's a souvenir from Brighton. <laughs> oh, well, well, someone doesn't look too perky this morning. Listen, I'm sorry about the other day. I didn't mean to be so rude. That's no problem. Oh, and Mark, sorry I messed up your holiday. Well, yeah, uh, apology accepted. I reckon I've seen everything now. <laughs> Well, something good came out of the trip then. Yeah. It was nice meeting you. You take care of yourself. Yeah. Right then. Are we all ready? Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to get my head kicked in. What's the matter with you? I oh, forget. Right, where's Melanie? Come on, Mel, we're going. Listen, I'm not going to come back with you. What are you talking about? I'm not coming back to Wolford just yet. Well, where are you going? Mel, this is stupid. I'm sorry. 
I want you to tell Ian that I'll call him later to explain, all right? Yeah, all right. Well, it's up to her, isn't it? What's wrong? What's got into her? She's a big girl. Let her do what she wants. Come on, madam. I think you'd better sit by the window. Hey, you came. I knew you would. You're doing the right thing, Mel, I promise you. No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. What do you mean? I'm not going anywhere with you. I might have made a mess of things the last few days, but I haven't totally lost the plot. You really don't trust me, do you? It's not about that. This is about what I want. I need some time to think, you know, clear my head. I'm going to go and stay with my mum for a few days. And then? I suppose there's nothing else to say, is there? You do still promise. Not a word. Well, let's just forget it ever happened, yeah? What? You said that's what we'd do. I said we'll pretend it never happened. I mean, forgetting. It's a different story.